I don't know if you could see the brush, the brush right here. Let me bring it closer. All right. Before when I turn it on. The brush is not moving, so that tells me there's something wrong with the belt. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, put on a belt of this uh, Hoover vacuum. If you have a vacuum that's Hoover and it looks like this, uh, you'll find it beneficial. This is the belt type. It's type D, Hoover belt T-series. I got it from Amazon. It was like $6. So we'll see what happens right now. We turn it on, this brush doesn't move. You hear the vacuum running, uh, the suction side is working, the belt doesn't move. So I'm suspecting the uh, belt, it's ripped or something. So we're gonna open it up and see what it looks like. So it has uh, about six screws that's holding it all together. Um, if you like, you could use an electric gun or a screw gun or a uh, drill that has a capacity of, um, you know, taking off the screws. But uh, in this case, I'm using the screwdriver because most people don't have drills and guns and screwdriver and automatic screwdriver. So I want to use basic tool as possible because this is a basic thing to do you know you don't need to go and purchase a gun or a drill to do this job i think i took it took them all out so it should come out there's one more here see it's holding it it's about to come out it's gonna be a little dusty it's all right when the vacuum starts working we will uh, take care of it the bad news is the belt is okay I was hoping it's the belt that's not working it's the bad news because I was expecting to change the belt so what else could be the problem The belt is here. We're doing well. Unless it's so weak that it doesn't turn. Maybe the tension is not there. Well, the belt is not ripped, you know, but the symptom was as if the belt was ripped. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change the belt anyways. Since I got it, it shouldn't hurt. I don't know if you could see it's, it's connected to the motor over there. So what we're gonna do is just gonna slide it out. Okay, this is the original belt. Looks like it's overstretched. And um, I'm gonna put on a new one and see if it makes a difference.
difference between the new and the old is the uh, the old one is a little stretched out. Just like the new one. It is in bad condition, but it's not ripped. We'll see. The tensioner is over there. See, spring loaded. This is what applies pressure to the belt and uh, the motor engages with the uh, with the belt so you move the tensioner up and down you are able to slide it very nice i'm going to close the tensioner and put this back before i put it back i'm going to clean this up and get a blade so when you have it out here you want to get rid of the hair if you find this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and um, like this video and uh, share with your family and friends. This is the square goes slide right in. Same goes here. I will go this side first. I'm going to apply pressure. Close everything up. See how it goes. We put it back the way we found it. If I had time, I would rinse this off. I don't have much time, so I'm just going to go and put this back. I don't want to spend too much time because what if something else is wrong with the vacuum cleaner then my time would be wasted so it snapped in place now it's time to put the screws back in they are all numbered so you don't forget you know exactly how many screws goes back in
very important to put back exactly the way it came in otherwise it won't work properly i'm just stating the obvious uh so that includes the screws you know make sure you put the right screws back in it's ready to go we're gonna test it hopefully it works let's test to see if the uh, brush works